Hi, Marlene. Nice to um, see you again. Yes, yeah, nice to see you again. Um, my question is also about space, um, because I can see that um, even though I can perceive that everything is happening and moving in me, uh, that I tend to um, locate where it is. Say that again. I, Just say the last bit again. So um, I think I, I, even though I can perceive that everything is in me, that there is some um, something in me that is still locating where it is. So even if it's a thought or a feeling or a sound, so yeah, I'm trying to locate where it is. So there seems to be, on the one hand, like a, an imposition of this, of, of space, I think, and in reference to me, maybe my body, we could do my body, uh, the, the solidity of my body dissolves, but then still there seems to be, yeah, an effort to locate it. Yes, space is one of the last concepts to go. Mm -hmm. The feeling that different experiences take place in different places in space. Does the sound of my in my in your experience, Mali, would you say that the sound of my voice took place at the place you call here or the place you call there? In this moment, the place that I call here. Here. And where do your thoughts take place? Do they take place here or there? Here. And where is the perception of my face taking place, here or there? There. <laughs> no, where is the perception? Where is the experience of perceiving? Here. All there is to my face is the experience of perceiving. Yeah, here. Where does the experience of perceiving take place? Here. here. Where does the experience of your body, remember, all you know of your body is the experience of sensing. Where does the experience of sensing take place? Here. Where does the sight of your room take place? Here. <laughs> Have you ever had an experience that didn't take place here? Could you have an experience that took place over there? No. Have you ever been to a place called over there? No. Has anyone I've... ever visited the place called over there? Okay, so g given that, spa given that space is the distance between here and there, yeah, that's what space is for each of us, the distance between here and there, the distance between here and there, yeah? Yeah. But none of us have ever been there. None of us have ever experienced there. Because all the experience is here. And so none of us have ever experienced space. The here that I'm speaking of is not a point in space. It is here the place where I am, the place where consciousness is. Go back to Mary and Jane in order to give you an analogy, to, because this is a it's this is a really I'm we're we're really pushing the boundaries here. So, in order to give you some context and an analogy, um, re remember Mary falls asleep in London. She dreams she's Jane on the streets of Paris. So the entire dream takes place in Mary's mind asleep in London. Yes. Yes. Now. Imagine you're having a conversation with Jane, asking Jane, where does her experience take place? Imagine that, that I was having this conversation with Jane, saying, asking her, where does the sight of the streets of Paris take place? Where does the sensation at the soles of your feet take place? Where do your thoughts take place? Where does the sound of that siren take place? It all takes place here. And, 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 and I show her she's never been there. It's always here. And here is always the same experience. There aren't 
millions of different here's. Here's always the same experience, yeah? Here always feels the same. And so then, I, then we say to Jane, so where is here? She cannot say where here is because here is not a place on the streets of Paris. Here is in Mary's mind, asleep in London. It's got nothing to do with her. It's not in her world. Now, yeah. the place at which you are experiencing your experience, the place at which each of us is experiencing our experiencing, is not in time or space. It's in Mary's mind. It's in that infinite consciousness. It's not, it's not, it's not in the world. It, don't think about this. I, I, you cannot... I, I'm, I'm trying to put something in words that... Yeah, but I, you, I think you, I can you, sense it somehow. <laughs> I'm trying to give you both the experience and the reason, but also I'm trying to give you the analogy of Mary and Jane to try and evoke in you to, to, the, the, the here, the place called here at which all of our experience takes place is not in space. And I'll leave you to do your homework with now that, that the moment called now is not a moment in time. Have you ever, all your experience, uh, I'm not going to elaborate it, all your experience is now. You've never had the experience called then. Have you ever had an experience that took place then rather than now? No, no one's ever experienced then. <laughs> Time is the distance between now and then. No one's ever experienced it. Jane thinks she's been sitting chatting with her friend in, 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 in the cafe in Paris for three hours. Mary wakes up and realises... The dream took a moment. It didn't take time in J the dream didn't take any time in Jane's world. Remember, I, I um this beautiful poem by um E. E. Cummings that 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 ex says this so beautifully. Love is a place, and in this place of love move with brightness of peace all places yes is a world and in this world of yes live skillfully curled all worlds this is what that's what E.E. E. Cummings was love is a place the placeless place called here the place at which experience takes place love is a place and in this place of love move with brightness of peace all worlds it, that he's talking about the the brightness of peace that is the nature of reality in which all worlds appear and yes and then he, he he describes it as yes this unconditional openness yes is a world and in this world of yes live skillfully curled skillfully curled the whole world is skillfully curled up in this dimensionless, resistanceless openness. Yes is a world, and in this world of yes, live skillfully curled all worlds. It's a beautiful... In, in, in eight lines, he, 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 he describes what I take ten minutes to describe. He, he's so eloquent and beautiful. 